Turning to the pandemic now, more than 2,000 people, new people, are now completely vaccinated in Kansas City, Missouri tonight. The total nearing 138,000. That's more than 27% of the population. More than 35% received the first dose. Residents on Kansas City's west side received a special surprise visit today. Mayor Quentin Lucas and a group from the Guadalupe Centers knocked on doors to promote the COVID-19 vaccine. They wanted to make sure people were able to get answers to any questions they might have. I think there's that middle group that says, all right, I would do it, but I'm, I'm busy today, or I didn't know when I could get it, or is walk-in an opportunity, or all of those sorts of things where I think we can break down barriers. The group says the goal today and every day is to help ease hesitancy on getting the vaccine in the Kansas City area. Wyandotte County is expanding access to its mobile vaccine clinic. Businesses, churches and other organizations can now request the mobile clinic for on-site vaccinations. To sign up, go to ycovaccines.org or just call 311. This year's pool season will no doubt look different after spending last summer inside. As KNBC 9's Alan Shope tells us tonight, crews are scrambling to get ready by hiring lifeguards. This year we're excited to be opening all of our major pools. That's good news for those who like to splash and have some fun in the sun. The big need right now is lifeguards. Kansas City only opened a total of three pools in 2020. This summer, all but three pools will be open. Lyon says they've yet to determine capacity. As the COVID numbers started dropping, we started considering whether we could open up more pools. Lyon says it's a hard push to get them open on time, but it's a decision that will help a department that lost $6 million in 2020. For the most part, it should look somewhat similar to summer's past where you get to come out and, and Enjoy your favorite pool. The water is already flowing in Overland Park. In fact, they've already reopened the public pool at the Matt Ross Center. This is kind of the crunch time. Crews out checking, cleaning, and filling all the public pools. Obviously, the pool's sitting for a year and a half with no water in it does cause some issues. Renee says when the pool's open, there won't be capacity limits. In fact, the only real change you'll see is no concessions. We encourage you to bring your own food. We have lounge chairs here available for you to use. We just ask that you maintain social distancing. Both areas say they'll open their pools following local and current safety guidelines. In Overland Park, Alan Shope, KNBC 9 News. Renee says COVID tests are slowing down the hiring process for the city. Roland Park, Kansas will pay its lifeguards more this summer. They'll make $12 an hour instead of the usual 10. Lifeguards are in short supply right now, as Alan said, so the city hopes this pay boost will get more people on board. You can apply on the city's website. President Joe Biden's lunch stop served a dual purpose today. He's talking about the importance of his small business relief plan, which offers $29 billion in aid. Restaurants are more than a major driver of our economy. They're woven in the fabric of our communities. And so for many families, restaurants are the gateway to opportunity, a key part of the American story. 